Good evening and welcome to the evening session of the IPAI Capital Park Conference Series being held in Raipur. And with me is Mr. Mukesh Bhargav, Chief Executive Officer of Vanna Global. Welcome to the conference, Mr. Bhargav. Thank you. Sir, thank you for your uh, speech uh, at the conference and uh, indeed the way you shared your views. Uh, we'd like to know, sir, given the fact that Chhattisgarh is emerging as the power hub of the country, yeah. what sort of role can capital power producers play in uh, mainstreaming the power that they have for meeting the power shortfall in the country? You see, as I mentioned in my speech, uh, there, uh, today captive power can play a major role in the sense that uh, due to the market economies, due to the changing scenario in the metal and other industries, there are a lot of captive plants who have surplus power which they can contribute to the national grid provided they get the um, uh, regulatory commissions, uh, permissions and other uh, approvals. approvals. What kind of problems do captive power producers typically face as compared to IPPs? See, first of all, captive power, there is a cap of 51%, which restricts us, uh, restricts us. See, at the time when we have set up the plant, maybe we had uh, we had a uh, captive capacity of certain extent. We have grown with time and there and also because of the recessionary trends in the like in our case for example uh, sponge iron. Today sponge iron prices are not at all remunerative but per force if we have to produce there is no point in you know running the industry will close down and then we will not generate power also. So if we are allowed as a captive power to send the power then the country gains from that. If uh, during that period of time they classify you as an independent power project, mm -hmm. how does it really affect the entire economics of the business and the ease of carrying out a sale of power? Actually, uh, it, it, for a transitory period you cannot uh, you know, change the status. Right. Uh, because we, are, we will not 100% you know, uh, sell all the power. We, we, we have to consume some auxiliary power and also as well as if we are running part of the plant. So uh, it's very difficult, you know, if you classify it once uh, as an independent power plant and then reclassification. So we have to make a lot of changes which are, which are not practical. Sir, if you had to set up an IPP, would you recommend Chhattisgarh as a destination for uh, other people also to set up IPPs? Definitely Chhattisgarh has many advantages. It has coal, it has power, mm -hmm. it has the transmission lines in place and I feel Chhattisgarh is one of the best loca uh, locations for setting up a power plant in India.